Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ruman. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Last time we explored a subway that is eerily reminiscent of dreams I've had, and currently we are at an unknown station. Alright, so let's get started. Nothing to pick up in this long hallway. You just want to enter the door here. I don't know if it would be spoilery to mention this, so I'm not going to show it. But if you want to see it, I will be linking it in the description. But on your second playthrough, there will be visual differences in the subway here. I mean, in the uh, underground passage here. So, yes, that'll be interesting. If you want to see that, that'll be linked in the description. You got some tiny pendulums there. Don't worry too much about them. Just run along. Whoopsie daisies. Make sure not to get by the numb bodies. Turn your flashlight off so these numb bodies don't bother you. Again, there is really no shame in getting hit. As long as you have, I would say, four health drinks and two first aid kits, then you're good. I have eight and three, so yeah, you should be fine. Ammo, you should have at least 50 handgun bullets, I would say. I'm gonna reload my gun. This is one of my favorite things to examine in the game. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. There was blood seeping out of the bottom of the locker. Is there something inside? I sort of want to take a look, but the locker won't open. Ah, it's better that way. It's not as if there's anything good in there. So yes, that's interesting. I just really like how they added a sound for this uh, examinable thing. i pick up the map right here. I got an underpass map. And right here, there is a mall. This is basically this game's uh, Great Knife. It's very slow, but it does have its uses, very situational uses, but we will barely be using it at all. It can be kind of useful during 10 stars though. I think that first aid kit turns into an ampule on easy mode. Look at that. That's a big numb body right there. Ah, I got hit. I think those numb bodies, like when they're that big, they go down in about 12 handgun bullets. Run along over here for some shotgun shells. More will be there on different difficulties. Oh no, this is funny. Look at this. Ah, yep, there we go. Alrighty. Man, I'm just getting I'm just getting hit so many times. Man, I'm not making a good example of myself. Anyway, you wanna run, run along in here? I'm gonna look at the map so you can see where I am. Right there. And we want to pick up this, uh, oh wait, gotta read this first. Wine in a place like this? Well, I suppose it is dark and dry. Only one of the bottles is empty. I got a wine bottle. Yes, you want to pick up the wine bottle here. And uh, health drink and health drink and beef jerky. And I think uh, different items will appear there depending on the difficulty you're on. Anyway, if you examine it again, the body must have been crushed by something heavy. With that then, god how awful. So, I, so, so it appears that Heather thinks that there's a body under all this that, that got crushed, which... You know, it's not a good sight to see. You never want to see that happen. I am going to heal. Wait, do I want to heal? Nah, I'm not going to heal. I usually only heal on red. And I'm on orange right now, so I'm fine. Got some more pendulums. I always like these little ones. The little ones are pretty funny. Something about just the way they look and move compared to the bigger ones, I was I always just liked it. And there we go. The reason why I didn't talk there for a bit was because I was actually waiting for that sound to play. Just so the viewer can hear it.
Again, there are just so many ambient sounds in the underpass here. It's very nice to try to listen to all of them. I always love the art direction in this game, the sound direction. It's just so good. Okay, I'm going to run along down here and uh, enter this room. Now, there is nothing in this room down here. I do not recommend coming down here. Like, yeah, I, I don't really recommend coming in here. But there is a big room in here full of stuff. Again, nothing in here. Just a big, giant room. Only went in there just to show it off. No other reason. There is nothing in there. You really want to come down here. Yeah, that room, that's a trap. You don't want to go in there. And in here, if you run along over here, there will be health drinks. And over here, <laughs> I went the long way around. That's kind of funny. Anyway, right here, there are hanging bullets. And there's a save point right here. No flavor text for that save point, but there it is for you. You can come over here and we can use the wine bottle on this thingy. This wine bottle was dropped out a corner of the underground passage. And there is actually oil in this piece of machinery right here that we picked up. More numb bodies have spawned. You can turn the flashlight off to make it so they are less likely to notice you. This might be the fuel tank. There's nothing in it, though. Yes, yeah, so we want to um use the oil-filled bottle here. I put the kerosene in the fuel tank. And let's turn this machinery on. I love that cutscene. I don't know why I just do. And the reason why we did that was because this uh, stairwell here was filled with water beforehand. And now we can finally go down it. It looks like I'll be able to get down here now if I can st if I can stand the smell that is. So yes, let's go down. And I think it, new flavor text if you re-examine it. Oh, nope. Never mind. I thought she said something if you examine those stairs, but I guess not. I'm that ladder. Whoopsie daisies. The collision in these games are funny. When on hard mode. Okay, a quick, quick little tidbit. I absolutely love how the water in the sewer here looks. It just... That looks like almost real water. Like, that looks just so good. That water. I love how some of the lights are on and some of them are off in the, in the underpass here. There's so much detail. On hard mode, you want to run along down here. This is because there are monsters on the uh, block here. This uh, walkway right here. See, there's a monster right there. I guess I might as well show off the mall with, with this thing. Yeah, there's the mall for you. Oh, I missed. And there we go, you can kill those things now if you don't want to deal with them later. Because you do, in fact, have to backtrack here later. And luckily for us, these uh, numb bodies don't ever respawn. At least from my experience, they don't. Look at this. This is what I was talking about earlier. See how some of the lights here are on? And then some of them are, like, not on? That's cool. They could have just had it so every single light is on, but no, they added like a lot of detail like that in this game. 
the, de the developers, Team Silent, they're, they're some cool people. Anyway, down there you can see a creature, very creepy, kind of looks like an alligator. Ugh, I, wonder what, I wonder what that could be. There's an ampule right there and a dryer right here. You can examine a lot of stuff in this room. You can examine this, the broken clock. You can examine these boxes and you can examine this. Now that's a lot of garbage. Where the hell did it all come from? I guess this is all the stuff that gets tossed into the sewers. Yeah, nothing too interesting, but you can in fact examine a lot of stuff. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? Creepy. Alright, let's leave. Ow. Whoa! That was funny. Okay, yes, turn your flashlight off so these guys aren't bothering you. When I run over here, I'm gonna look at my map so you can see where I am. Whoopsie daisies. Hold on a second. There we go. Currently, we are here on the map. Uh, getting hit by that monster actually ate my input, so it's kind of funny. And currently we are in what appears to be like some sort of office somehow in the, in the underpass. It's kind of funny. There's a health drink right there. And there's a save point right here. Right here, this paper right here, you'll read a nice little Silent Hill 2 reference. There are documents on the floor. They don't look like they have anything to do with me, but they've got today's date on them. That's weird. Remember when James said that in the uh, labyrinth? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And funnily enough is that there's actually like different flavor text in this next room depending on what you do in this room, so I'm going to be showing both of them. If you examine uh, the wall right here, there's blood all over the walls and floor. I don't know what happened, but I sure don't like the feel of this place. And you can get different flavor text for that wall if you examine this memo here. There's something written on the on the notebook. There's two. There's a monster in the water. The bastard has killed my two buddies. I should have never doubted that old urban legend about the alligators in the sewers. <laughs> that was no myth. I just I just find that funny for some reason. But no one believes me. They were drunk and slipped. We're not that damn stupid. Even calling it a monster isn't quite right. This is something else. All I know is something's in there. I'm going in now to beat that thing's head. And if you find this, no, consider it my will. Revenge is futile, or so you may think, reading this, but Jose and Jamie were my best buddies. Wish I knew how to do the deed. Guns won't work underwater, even my famous knife work won't do much. If only I had a hand grenade. You can also examine this paper right here on the floor. Our documents on the floor are some kind of paperwork. According to this, two people mentioned the documents Jose and Jamie are dead. Looks like it happened on the job. Alright, now if you e exit again, we will get different flavor text here. There's blood all over the walls and floor. Was the monster mentioned? Was this the monster mentioned in that note? I don't think it's a good idea to hang around here like this. Now, on a normal mode and easy mode, uh, Heather will give you a warning upon walking across the passage here. But on hard mode, you don't get that warning. And what you want to do is you want to use a uh, a dryer here on this outlet. If you don't put the dryer into that outlet, then that monster will in fact kill you, so be careful. Also, be careful when crossing this walkway right here, because you can actually fall into the water here, and that does count as a death.
Be sure to turn your flashlight off here. It really does help. These pendulums can fuck you up really good if you're not careful. See, that one almost hit me, and I had my flashlight off. So yes, be sure to be careful. Having your flashlight off there always helps. And now we have a long hallway, hell yeah. Now this next part is important. Okay, well it's not like super important, but if you're playing on hard mode and you have over 11 health drinks, over three first aid kits, and over two ampules, I mean over one ampule I mean, then you want to use health drinks until you have 11, you want to use your first aid kits until you only have three, and you want to use your ampules until you only have one. You want one ampule, three first aid kits, and 11 health drinks for this next area. This is because, and this is worth it, this is because the next area will spawn more items if you have this in stock, right? 11 health drinks, three first aid kits, and one ampule. That is what you want. You can have less than this if you want. Like, you can have, like, five health drinks and, you know, one first aid kit and no ampules, and that'll still count. As long as you have this or less, then you will get more items to spawn in the next area. So you will get more health drinks, more first aid kits, and all those goodies. You'll get more of them. Which is always fun. And now we're really fast for some reason. For some reason, Heather just always ran really fast in this outdoor area. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. There is a, a save point right here. And there is no flavor text for that save point again, but that seems like a very convenient spot to end off on, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed.